guess what? I just came off of a luxurious, just pampering Holland America cruise. So I'm going to luxuriate and pamper you by giving it to you on a silver platter. I have literally created a 30 day Holland America campaign with photos. Now, if you are not interested in selling Holland America, you can just use the um, prompts that I'm about to give you and kind of change, you know, change them around a little bit to match whichever supplier you're going to use. And then you're going to have to find your own uh, photos to use. So like, let's say you've been on a Royal Caribbean cruise a few times and you've got a bunch of photos from that. So you'll use those instead. So the good news is every photo that I'm going to show you pretty much, um, there might be a few that like did not apply to the actual Holland America itself. So um, they might not be up there, but you could always screenshot anything that I've, that I've put on here because I never use uh, photos from anywhere that would um, that would be need like legal things like, you know, I wouldn't have to pay residuals or anything like that. Okay, so let's get to it. So this is the campaign that I've chosen to use. The Have It All. They have their best amenities included and it's at 50% off. So they're talking about shore excursions, drink packages, specialty dining and Wi-Fi. So um, the only thing I did not do when I was on Holland American was their shore excursions because uh, it was the west coast of California and I had been, you know, I grew up, I'm not grew up, but I, well, I kind of grew up when you, when you grow up in your twenties, um, I, I lived in California. So all of the places that we went, I have been multiple times. So I wanted to spend more time on the ship, getting photos for you and really kind of inspecting things. Uh, so this is the one I've chosen. And this is the page on Holland America where you'd be able to download things. I am going to show you where it is. So Hold your horses, everyone. Here we go. So looking back to what we did last time, uh, where we talked about the four different weeks, the warm-up sequence. This is the week about positioning your business. So in, in other words, we're going to be positioning you as a travel agent. We're going to be positioning Hal as a luxury line. And these are all the different things that you're going to be building. I don't need to go over them again. You can watch this on the replay if you need to, because I'm literally going to give them to you right here. And by the way, when we get off of this, I am going to put it into a Word document and upload it to the Departure Lounge. So you will have access to this. Now, if you are a UK agent watching this, um, you don't sell Holland America. So I'm not gonna upload it um, in the UK. What I am going to do is uh, rework it a little bit so there's nothing to do with how, make it a little more general so that you could apply it to who you do sell. So let's look at what this is. So what I did was I gave you prompts, and yes, there are a few fill in the blanks because I want you to be able to personalize it and make it your own. And then if you look at the next slide, I gave you the corresponding pictures. Pictures that I took, like this one right here of the clothing, those won't be in there because I'm talking, what you'll see, I'm just showing them to you as an example because you're going to give your packing tips and so you'll you'll take a picture or you know do whatever it is that you do okay so let's start this so day one is about you you may have noticed i love travel i know i know i talk about it all the time well here are things you may not know i love this is just to help them get to know you better so like i use three things that i love for example, dogs, gardening, fashion. And when I say gardening, I mean my indoor garden because I kill anything outside. That's not true. I had a pretty good garden going back in California, even though it was covered in bugs. Okay, share one thing and then you would tell them, so things in parentheses, well, this should really be not really parentheses. It should really be these thingy majiggies. Dee, dee, dee. So that, cause sometimes I put things in parentheses. Anyway, you get the idea. All right, so then you're gonna continue. So you may not, you may have noticed that I love I love travel. I know, I know, I talk about it all the time. Here are three things you might not know I love, dogs, gardening, and fashion. And you can share some details about each. Like I love my puppy, he's so well-trained now. I have a hyper, 
I can't even say it. Um, garden in my house, you might show a picture of, of that. Um, and share one thing you love in the comments to help me get to know you better. All right. So there should be no, okay, to help me get to know you better. All right, so this is you just starting to engage in the beginning of the campaign. Then the second day is what makes your business unique? Something that is unique about the way I do business is, example, I experience the spa at every resort, cruise, ship, or location I visit, and then share details about why. But talk, so it, like we want to kind of tie it in to the fact that we are going to be selling a luxury, cruise thing so i'm bringing up the spa because if you look at the picture day two it's the spa so i don't have a picture for you for day one because you don't need a picture of my dog my garden or my closet right but here for day two i share a picture of the spa with you and you'll be able to there's a ton of spa pictures like i did it by category so i did spa i did food i did entertainment i did art so i broke them down by the different categories when i uploaded them to the facebook page so you will be able to um, choose this and you can use multiple spa pictures if you want to create wanderlust you can you know use three five different pictures of the spa so they're like ooh. Okay, but also remember, you want to put this campaign together beforehand, figuring out which pictures are going to go with what, because we might talk about a spa again later, so you don't want to use all the pictures on the first conversation. And I know I'm going quickly, but remember, um, you are going to be able to watch this again in the replay. And no... Uh, Mizuki, I cannot put my screen in presentation mode because when I do that, I can't see all this. It, it just makes something weird. We, we've been dealing with this since it started. It's not, I mean, I can do it in Zoom, but for some reason I can't do it with GoTo. It doesn't allow me to do the back and forth and things that I like to do. Okay, but remember, I am going to copy and paste this for you. So you could just kind of listen to as I read. All right, so number three is personal highlights. So again, there are a million different personal highlights I can talk to you about, you know, I mean, there are just so many, but I want to pick a personal highlight. Uh, oh, wait, I'm sorry, I didn't finish this one. So share details about why. Drop a heart in the comment if you too enjoy, I'm going to say a spa treatment, because that's what I'm talking about in this blank. So whatever this blank is, drop a heart if you enjoy the, this blank, okay? Number three, luxury. I'm tying in personal insight about me, that I love luxury. I could say I love sports, but sports has absolutely nothing to do with Holland America Cruise. And this is a campaign for Holland America. Now, you might do uh, completely, because you're not going to just do these 28 posts and that's it. In between, you're going to have quotes, uh, you know, travel is this thing that makes you, you know, Travel is one thing you pay for that makes you richer. You're gonna have a picture of your your bed unmade to show them, hey, you know, I might be the greatest travel agent in the world, but sometimes I don't make my bed. Like, you know, you're gonna you're gonna have some personal things. Oh, here I am out to dinner with my family. You'll have personal things in between. But for the sake of this campaign, for these 28 days, you are going to make sure you're doing one post a day. Okay. All right, so personal insight. I love luxury. I haven't always had luxury in my life, which is why when I get the chance to spoil myself while traveling, I do. Whether it be, and I gave three examples again that are in the photos that I gave you. Chocolate, thermal pool or lobster, I indulge. What's something that makes you feel like you've added a little luxury to your life? And then let's look at the picture. Here's some chocolates I had on the cruise. Here's a lobster dinner, delicious, crazy good. Okay, day number four. And notice how I'm having you engage with them in each one. You're asking a question at the end of each, or you're asking them to drop a heart or just share something. All right, number four, here are my three tips for packing. And you'll fill in three tips, or maybe you'll just give them one tip, or maybe you'll give them two tips. You might give them 10 tips, that's a lot, but I'm just saying. Examples are, take I take photos of my outfits with accessories. It just helps me when I, when I travel, 
I mean, I packed a ton of stuff. And then you look in your closet and you're like, what? So I take pictures with the jewelry. So I'm like, oh, okay, yes. And then I can look through the seven pictures so I can choose which one I'm wearing. Oh, those two I packed for the gala night. These, okay, good. Number two, once you have taken those pictures, pack your jewelry in clear bags by outfit. This way you can see all your jewelry is together, unless you know, you're someone that just wears, you know, I wear like fake jewelry all the time. So I have like different things all the time, but some people just have their, their chosen jewelry. But anyway, I've given you some ideas, right? Then you're gonna ask them, share a packing tip you use and, or give an option, uh, what, which one of these do you like best? So you've given them three, so either they can share a packing tip with you or tell you which one they like best. And with this one, I showed you how I pack different outfits and I put the jewelry and I take the picture, okay? All right, number five. Here's what travelers say to me. Now, here's the thing. I have not said, here's what my client said to me, but I'm, Almost, it's like I've written it in a way so that you can use this as and So I have like three of them where I talk about things, all right? And you can use them in the way I've written them. You are not saying I am your client, but there's a little bit of like, they might assume I am and that's okay because you didn't lie. You didn't say I was, um, but at least you're giving them a testimonial from someone who's been there. Now, if you have been on Hal, or if you have customers who have been on Hal, use yours. But I know that some of you don't, so I created this one. I So here's what travelers have to say about me now. Granted, you are not posting this part. You're not posting about me. You're not posting what makes your business unique. That's just for you to know. So if you wanna do a campaign, Later on for something else, you have the template for it. You're just gonna change what you're talking about. So you're gonna post, I love what Jessica had to say about Hal Cruz. I was blown away, blah, 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 I said all this stuff and it's a quote. World traveler, Jessica S. Drop, and then you tell them, drop a heart if you wish you were on that cruise with Jessica, okay, or Jess. You know, Jess makes it sound like you know me a little better, all right? All right, and then I gave you a picture of me on the cruise, feeling luxurious, okay, with some artwork. Next, we go to what I do differently. These days, it seems pretty simple to book your own travel, but here's what I know as a travel agent. You could book a hotel resort online, show up, and they don't have your reservation. Well, I take care of my clients. I am your fixer, your informer because I have education and information that you don't have access to, and your dream maker. I look for experiences that you wouldn't know about to create a vacation filled with life-changing life memories. Do you have a travel nightmare story? Because here's what you wanna do. You wanna plant that seed of doubt when they decide that they're gonna do it on their own. So, um, I'm not quite sure, wait a second, date six. Uh, one second. One. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong day. Uh, why is it day six? Okay. So day. I'm sorry. Day five. Yeah. Day five. You have that picture of me. Okay. We did that. Okay. So day six is. Um, these days it seems pretty simple to book your own travel, but here's what I know. Okay. So you've told them about that. I take care, looking for experiences that you wouldn't know to create. So here's an experience. This wine tasting was an incredible experience. Look at the detail in that picture. Like every um, champagne glass has a different thing in it because I, they, they taught us how to, you know, smell what's in the glass and then taste the wine and then smell what's in this glass and then taste the wine. It's a whole different experience. Day seven. All right, where am I going? Um, is a personal insight. I love discovery. When I was young, I always loved to, and then tell them something about, 
like like I could something that is unrelated to travel, completely unrelated to travel, but related to discovery. So like I used to love to play Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys around my neighborhood and I would like pretend that I was, you know, looking to solve mysteries. That is actually a true story. So think about something when you were younger that helped you, you know, maybe it's a love for learning. I love discovery. I used to go to the library a lot, or that's why I became a teacher because I loved discovering new things and teaching people. So at something you love that has to do with discovery that is unrelated to travel. Now I use that to discover unique experiences like a Hal cruise on the West Coast with the chance to three things you can do on the cruise you're selling in the campaign. Okay, so I don't know, this, this campaign I'm showing you applies to all of their ships. So you're gonna pick three things that apply to that trip that they're gonna be allowed to do. One second, I need to find my dog. Where did he come? Good boy, place. Good boy, not down. That's a telepup, y'all. He's very well trained, just like you agents. You train everybody. Okay. So three things that you could do on the cruise you're selling. And they, and then you're going to ask them, have you done something? Like, since this is a how cruise for the West Coast, have you seen the sea lions in San Francisco? So we got off the ship in San Francisco, and there's Pier 39. There's a bunch of pictures. There's Alcatraz. There's a whole bunch of pictures that I posted. So if you're going to use that itinerary then you can choose any of the tourist pictures from that day okay okay then we go to week two and i'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly i'm not going to show you the pictures with each you'll be able to match them yourself but i want to be able to get through um all four weeks so that you understand what i'm writing all right so day eight now we're in week two we're going to overcome the objections did you know holland america was the first cruise line helping the military during world during the world wars and starting the trend of what cruising looks like now they said many people maybe you that said many people maybe you have the wrong idea about how i've heard people say it's only for rich snooty people or it's only for seniors nope hal even has a kids club if you love luxury luxury sophistication music art food and great destinations without drunk party people everywhere. This is the perfect cruise line for you. What objections, if any, do you have to cruising? That's gonna help give you ideas of what people object to so that you can answer them before the campaign is over. Day nine, I get it. There's a lot that goes into planning a cruise, knowing which cabin type and what floor is best, all the reservations you must make before getting on the ship, which excursions to choose, some people get so overwhelmed, they plan a mediocre hotel trip instead. That's where I come in, at no cost to you. I will ask you a series of questions, plan your trip, remind you of everything to be done, and be at my phone ready to help until the moment you get home. I'm here to relieve the pressure in your travels. So how can I help you? Day 10, What does someone? why does someone need your service? Can you level with me? There's a good chance you never consider booking a vacation through a specialized travel concierge like myself. I get it. Some people don't realize that travel agents are still around or that our services are free to you. Seriously, no strings attached. But name your travel, Sunshine Travels or IntelliTravel, you know, Jessica's IntelliTravel Agency. Um, well, you can't use that because you can't use IntelliTravel in your name, but you can just say, as an independent travel agent for IntelliTravel, I can take the stress out of endless planning. What, why would you want to work with me and then give them three reasons? Now, what sounds best to you? Luxury spa, mouth watering food, or great sightseeing? All three things that they can do on HAL, but you wanna know which one is most exciting to them. Some might even say all three, or I like spa and mouth watering food. You know, so whatever their answer is. All right, here's a poll for engagement. I run my travel business a little differently than others. I go the extra mile by blank, blank, and blank. Um, examples, if I haven't been somewhere you want to go, I thoroughly interview someone who has. Okay, so let me put that into these things so that you know. I'm going I'm to fix this for you guys before I can send it out. Um, tell me, would you like me to have every luxurious detail of your trip planned for you? 
that's an option. Get a general quote and then collaborate with you to plan your adventure. So that's someone who wants to be a part of it. Or have me just book your trip and you take it from there. Either way, you guys, you are involved. So you're polling them which one they like best. All right, now we're gonna do some highlights about cruising. Wanna see different locations in one trip, but don't like the idea of packing and unpacking, checking in a new hotel every two days and having to figure out what activities to do in restaurants to dine at? Cruising is your answer. A cruise ship is your hotel on water where you go, you get off at different ports, experience the location and foods, and then sleep in the comfort of your stateroom. What kind of ship sounds like your dream cruise? Drinks and party all night? A little, lux a little luxury, a lot of kids? Or sophisticated culture luxury where the only kids you see are super well behaved? Okay, listen. If you are doing um, a carnival cruise and you're using this one, they are going to say drinks and party all night, right? Uh, if you're doing if you're doing a Norwegian cruise, they might say a little luxury, a lot of kids because they're bringing their kids, right? But your people who you are looking for for this campaign are going to immediately be like, "Ooh, they want lots of kids running around. I want cultured luxury where the only kids I see are super well behaved, right?" So for Holland, those are going to be your people. If they say drinks and party all night in that answer. Then you're going to say to them, say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm selling, I'm selling um, Pal this month, but you know, that's my group I'm selling. But I could plan a cruise for you. I love for drinks and party all night. I love either Carnival or or Royal Caribbean. Would you be interested in me looking into something for you? So that's the way you're going to do it. All right. Invite a friend. Remember, we're, we want to take away any objections they might have. Maybe they don't like traveling alone and they're single, okay? So Grace and Frankie, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, Bay and Jay, we all have that person in our lives who no matter what you do, you have the best time. So why not invite them to join you on a luxury pampering foodie cruise? Tag them in the comments below and together you can have an experience of your lifetime. Day 14, more objections. Now, again, you might take these from the people who said th their objections to cruising and you can answer those. But I just created one in case you don't get any answers. You wouldn't be wrong to think that safety and travel is a hot topic. But that's why there's me. I have my finger on the ever-changing news of travel safety. I would even go so far as to say, in my personal opinion, that cruise ships, because again, we don't want to legally say anything, so this is your personal opinion, that cruise ships are working harder than any industry to protect your health and safety. Do you have any questions or are you ready to cruise? And you'll get your answers. Here are the pictures. Now notice I have day one. So I showed how like they were there during the war. This was during a beautiful presentation that was done, an educational um, experience that they do. I remember when I was talking about them getting overwhelmed here, I show the Koningsdam deck plan. I look at that and I'm like, uh, travel agent, please. Day three, uh, you know, where do you want to go? I just showed, you know, I don't know if that's a particular cruise line, but you can't really tell. So that applies to day three. Day four, uh, what was day four? Why did I choose my picture? Um, oops, week two, day four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Pull for engagement. I run my business a little differently. I so this is someone that um, if you haven't been on the Holland America cruise, you can say you can add a little something and say like like Jessica. I had her tell me all about her cruise. Again, they don't know that you didn't send me on it. So there's a picture of of me in case you want to use it. Or you can just use something completely different. Um, day five. What are we talking about on day five? Maybe I do need to go back and forth. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Highlights about, oh yeah, so we are talking about a, sh a ship on uh, your closet. So this is my closet being filled up, all right? So I don't have to unpack it and repack all that time. Okay, day six. Uh, day six is something that you're gonna have to post your own, all right? Day seven is look showing the safe and health and, and so here is the, the chef at Rudy's. He came out to talk to us at the table. He put on a mask to talk to us. All right, we got week three. All right, I really gotta zoom through this. Week three, you're gonna, now is when we are going to, it's the promotion. Now we're gonna really start talking about how. We haven't even said their name yet, I don't think, maybe once. 
Um, but now we're really going to start talking about them. How many times have you gone on the cruise on a huge ship with hundreds of screaming kids, drunk people everywhere, and people who party into the wee hours of the night? And you can even add, and you can hear them in the hallways as you're trying to sleep. The reason why I didn't add that is because I don't want people who like that, like I don't want to turn people off to the other cruise lines. That's why I didn't write and hear them walking through the hallways because I don't want to plant that seed that, you know, if they can't afford a hall in America and they're going to start off on a carnival, you know, they're going to be like, oh, people will be walking down the hallways. Nope, you have the privacy of your room, but just know that this is what's happening around, okay? It was, and I even said, it was fun, right? So, like, you're, you're acknowledging that those kind of tr trips are fun too. But sometimes you want a vacation that makes you feel pampered, cultured, sophisticated, and very, very adult. Being on a cruise that creates experiences that will give you bragging rights for a lifetime gives you a different knowing. If you are craving a luxury experience, drop a heart in the comments. Let's just check the picture I used. Okay, so there's five, there's one of their dining rooms. All right, then maybe you're gonna do it. You're gonna do a. I would like you to do a live event, some kind of um, either travel party, which you can see how to do those in your back office under Intel Tutorial Libraries, under the same place where you find this. All right, hold on a second. I just want to see what questions you're asking. So we insert personal insight throughout the 28 days. Yes. All right. Got it. Thank you. No problem. Are you posting this on your personal Facebook page? Yes, I am. Because they're not going to see it on your business page. They might not even be alerted to it. You can do it on both, quite frankly. I would do it on, if you have a Facebook business page, do it on both. All right. Can this campaign be used to promote other kinds of trips? For example, promote a specific trip. To Absolutely. You're going to have to do a little bit more, um, you know, like I said, in the very beginning. Uh, I, I can go back to slide six for a second. Okay, so I'm not really sure why you need that because you are going to be able to go back to all of these. All right, this is recorded, so you'll be able to see the whole thing. So, uh, yes, you can you you can change this around. You you'll be able to. Um, this is going to be in a Word doc so that you can change the wording around and all that stuff to make it apply to a Cancun trip, and. You know, if you and I would love for you to use this when you, you know, go into the supplier's photos, use those. Okay. Can it be used on Instagram as well as Facebook? Absolutely. This is actually designed for Instagram and then you share it. Like I have my Instagram set up that it shares it to Facebook. All right. Or you can do vice versa. But I, this is, you know, set up for Instagram and then boom, it automatically shares to Facebook. That's what I like. But yes, it's for both. All right, so now if we're on day 16, you're gonna announce a live event. Maybe you're gonna to talk to Javier and Hal about doing an online travel party. I know that Lori from uh, Royal Caribbean loves to do those. So three, two, one, ready or not, here I come with an awesome online travel party. Put yourself your favorite travel beverage, pour yourself your favorite travel beverage and join me as I introduce Javier Yataco from Holland America Cruise Line. He will tantalize your senses. Will I see you there? Save your seat here and then give the link. All right. Maybe it's, you know, maybe you're creating a, um, a group in Facebook for that. And um, again, you would say link in bio on Instagram to send them to the Facebook page. All right. All right. Schedule and ask me anything on Facebook or IG Live. You might have to do both if you're doing it on both. Or you can do a party group, like I said, you know, the one that that um, you're going to be sending them that link. Or maybe do a messenger party. If you don't know how to do messenger parties, um, then maybe that's something I need to teach you all to do. So when I have you go to my Facebook page and um, write what to do, then there we go. All right. Um, day 17, schedule and ask me anything. Okay, so okay, so that's where we are. I have an embarrassing secret to share. Maybe it's I've never been on a Hall in America cruise yet. Okay, so something it's gonna be kind of an embarrassing secret having to do with how. Okay, or I gained four pounds from chocolate alone on my last Hall in America cruise. True story. I gained four pounds. Um, I 
eight, 50 pieces of chocolate on our, uh, well, we went to LeBlanc and the the gal who was showing us around heard that on my first day because I asked her if there was an all you can eat chocolate shop and there wasn't. Every single day, she sent me trays of chocolate. You will see pictures of them. And it was it was unbelievable. And everybody knew I loved chocolate. So like the people, like it must have been written in my in my in my client bio because every table I went to, they brought me chocolate desserts that were gluten free and dairy free because they knew I was gluten free and dairy free. I mean this this line takes very good care of you. Okay, all right. So we shared that that embarrassing secret, but I'm spilling the tea because and then give an example. I don't have to have experienced the ship to sell it. It's that good, all right? Or I want you to know it's worth it. And let's face it, if we really cared, Hal has a great gym and walking track. Okay, so like, you know, we've just, you know, turned those two kind of embarrassing secrets into a positive. All right, um, let's see, chocolates alone, I can be, I don't know what that is. Let's Let's get rid of that. Better yet, I'll be sharing my best secrets for cruising with you on my Facebook Live, Instagram Live, Messenger Party example on, give the date. So if you have questions, leave them here and I'll answer them live. See you there. All right. Now, guys, I know I'm going really fast because I'm trying to leave time for you guys to ask questions. So when I post this in the departure lounge, Ask questions, say on day 19, can you go into a little, you know, what did you mean by this? And I'll explain it, okay? All right, then day 18 is when we share the promotion. What I love about having it all, one, shore excursions, two, drink packages, three, specialty dining, and four, Wi-Fi. And then you can elaborate each if you choose. And then I would ask, which extra, which freebie, okay, it's freebie, which freebie do you like best? And let me quickly go to the slides. So there's there's uh, Javier. Here's the chocolate that made me gain four pounds. And here is the promotion for the have it all. All right, I got this off of Hal's website. All right, um, explain why you love booking on cruises. Why am I so passionate about sending you on a cruise? Because I show people what they didn't even know existed. Here's another quote from Jessica. I remember watching The Love Boat growing up. It's a true story. So I thought cruises were boring, eating buffet, dancing in a disco, sitting in the sun and drinking, none of which I like to do. My first cruise blew me away. There were so many activities, great entertainment, real restaurants, shopping and amazing excursions at every point. Then I went on Holland America and the experience was completely elevated. If I could live on a house ship, I would, Jessica S. And as you saw, there's a picture of me. So there you go. All right, day 20, show how cruise benefits them. They need to know the benefits, all right? Enough about me, let's talk about you. Don't tell me, you're busy, you work hard, you're a bit exhausted, you dream of getting away, but when, where, how? Hit on all those little pain points. I'm here to show you how your dream getaway can become a real getaway. It's time for you to treat yourself, feel the breeze in your hair, hear the sound of the waves, taste the freshest food and the finest wines, smell the warm chocolate souffle, which I'm told has no calories at sea with a smiley face. I'd be honored to chat more about you, about how I can send you on a sweet escape. Email, direct message, or comment below, and I'll be sure we connect soon. So notice how I used all the senses. To really be like, oh, and then of course I show the warm souffle, so good. All right, all right, showcasing early adapters. So adopters, so some people really love to be like the first to do things and, you know, they, they like to like talk about things that other people don't know. So be a part of history and fill your head with stories to share about your adventure. Join those who have already, who are already going aboard on so you're, you're implying, if you haven't already had people who've signed up for this cruise, you're implying that they are by saying, join those who are already going aboard because somebody's already signed up and maybe not with you, but somebody's going aboard, right? Name of the ship, so Konings Dam, if you're doing my itinerary, and the date, pick the date. This will be an experience you will always remember and perhaps the start of, the start or continuation 
of a life filled with travel voyages. And then again, I show the photo of, uh, look at all the era, be a part of history, all right? There's a whole interesting thing that they do. All right, last week, let's rush through this. This is the deadline. This is where we create, you know, something that they, you know, they have to join this week. Okay. About Holland America, ahoy, if that greeting didn't tip you off, this ship is going to sail and you should be on it. I hope this post fills you with wanderlust. The ports you'll be visiting are, and share different ports. I suggest using some enticing adjectives to describe each port and then ask them which port is most exciting to you. So know this, I do, I, I had, um, for mine, I have, I could have done four, but here's San Francisco. Here's Avalon. So they will they will share the pictures for you. I took personal pictures. I kind of like the way those feel versus a professional one. Be if I've been on it. If I haven't, you can be sure I'm using those professional ones. All right. Here's another testimonial from your friend Jess. I can't tell you blah 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 blah. All right. I'm glad I listened to the professional who knew what I wanted more than I did. And then you write, it's kind of hard, it's kind of, it's that kind of appreciation that keeps me going. Now, you didn't say I was appreciating you, but I was showing appreciation. It's that kind of appreciation that keeps me going. Want to know more about why this ship is, ship got such a rave review? Check out this 30 second video and you're going to give them the link or you're going to put the link in your bio for, for Instagram. All right. Or you're going to share this post to your story and share the link in your story because they have a link button now. All right, so there's no photo for number 24. You're, cause the, 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 when you share the link on Facebook, that's gonna come up. Okay, show, showcase something about the ship. Eat to live or live to eat. I typically find that, and you can pick whichever one you want. I really am an eat to live. If I could drink anything, drink myself, I would. And I would write that, you know? Um, and gal, guy, whatever pronoun you want to use, it's all good. But the mouth-watering food on Holland turns me into a li live to eat. Check out some of these dishes and drop a food emoji if you're getting hungry just looking. And I share two photos from, I think, two, maybe, no, I think I have to share a bunch. What, wrong one. Wrong one. We're on week four here. Look, I shared the, the shrimp cocktail, the French onion soup, the salmon. Um, this might, these two might not be the most mouthwatering. This is our first night. And so like, I really wanted to make sure that my food was plain. So, but believe me, there are so many mouthwatering food photos I took. And of course, you gotta have that chocolate. All right, these just happened to all five be in a row, which is why I just took one picture. As you can see, it's just one picture. So it, they're not necessarily the most mouthwatering for this, but these two are, these two are great. This one always is great. There's probably a closer shot of it. And then you can get some other ones, unless you know that you have someone with eating things like gluten-free, dairy-free, like show them this. And you can say, you know, for those of you who have food allergies, that salmon was custom made. No gluten, no dairy, blah, blah, blah. All right. Oh boy, guys, we're not gonna have a lot of time to get to your questions. So I'm sorry. Next time we'll, we'll I'll do a really simple topic so that you can ask lots of questions. All right. Now we're going to give them a 48 hour reminder. You've already told them what the deal was last week. You gave them the deal, right? So now the clock is ticking. There's just 48 hours left to book your Holland cruise and get your, you're gonna offer a free gift and you're gonna tell them about that. I should have told you, you're gonna tell them about that when you're, when you're sharing last week, okay? Free gift, something that makes sense to you. Maybe you know, say to get your special gift in your room. Not gonna tell you what, gotta be there to get it. Only only a travel agent will get you this gift kind of thing, okay? Make it seem exclusive. And then it's gonna be like a chocolate basket or a bottle of wine because you're gonna get a very big commission on this Holland America trip, okay? So um, maybe you're gonna send them um, custom t-shirts that say, um, you know, do not disturb luxury and I don't know, whatever it is. You come up with a gift that makes sense before the offer ends at, and list the time and date that the offer ends. This is your chance to finally, and you're gonna fill in the blank, take that luxury cruise you've always dreamed of, whatever fits your personality. If you have questions or comments, please leave them here as I'm ready to help and answer. 
Day 27, 24 hour reminder, this is your last chance, just 24 hours left to book your Holland cruise and get your whatever that gift is before the offer ends at list that time and date. So don't lose out on this golden opportunity. Tell me friend, are you all in? If so, leave a comment so I can celebrate with you. If not, do you have any questions I can answer? Don't delay. And then 28, now you're gonna talk, even if no one booked, okay? Thank you to those who book closed dates. So you might think I do a lot of thanking. You should invite me to a dinner party or I have so much to be grateful for, whatever that fill in the blank is. And in the spirit of thankfulness, I wanna tell you that I wouldn't have the same passion for travel if you were on the journey, if you were on the journey with me. All right, so basically like you're implying maybe that some people are gonna be on the journey with you, but if not, it's just your whole travel journey. I'll never tire of saying it, friends. Thank you for being here. As, as I close this promotion, I feel so much gratitude to be able to keep discovering wonderful places to send you and have you here for the adventure. Okay, so day one was the places they could look at. Day three was the food. Day four was, the, you know, creating a little luxury. Day five was you're going to celebrate with them. And day six is like, you know, you just being on the cruise ship with your laptop and the waves out there and it's all good. So just to close this out, final steps, for those of you who are brand new or for those of you who are unfamiliar with HAL, I want you to go to HAL.com. If this is a campaign you wanna use, take the training. If you haven't already, I did it in four hours because you really do wanna familiarize yourself with Holland America, with the lingo they use, with the adjectives, take note of the adjectives that they use to de describe things. It's gonna be different than the adjectives you're gonna to use to describe um, Carnival Cruise, it just is. Then decide which special you wanna use when you start your campaign. Here is a video walkthrough about booking the having it all. I am going to put it into the chat for you guys. Um, it's also going to be in the uh, it's also going to be in the the document I give you, so you'll be able to click on it live, or you might just find it. Oh wait, that was not the whole link. Sorry guys, hold on, let me redo that. There you go. You need the full HTTPS. There you go. To the hyperlink. I wish you much success, and I hope you will message me, get in touch with me when you, if you book from this, I say when, when you book from this campaign, I wanna know about it. I wanna shout you out in the departure lounge. Um, I might not see, so let me uh, take you to some places, okay? So this is my Instagram. Um, I did a ton of promotion for Hal. Here's a reel I did. It's with music. Okay, so this is a very trendy one, okay? Uh, that's why I used it, because it's a trend one. A day in the life on a Hal cruise, can you feel the luxury, drop a little boat? Jet set Susie already did. You're making me want to take a cruise, something I thought I'd never want to do. Hello, hello you guys. Look what that, some, you're making me want to take a cruise, something I never thought I'd want to do. You guys, this works. This works. All right. And this reel is very simple to create. I am not good at reels. All I had to do was upload 16 pictures and use the sound. So that that could be for another training. It's just hard for me to train you guys on reels because you can't see what I'm doing on my phone. There might be some technology for that. Okay, here we go again. All right, come to my attention. Some of you may be feeling left out. Oh, no, that's not that's not a Holland America one. Here's one. Why I'm obsessed with Holland America. And you guys, you can use this. You can use all of my pictures. You can change that and put your own pictures if you want. Port to table cooking presentation, so fun. From the Lincoln Center to the rock stars of the Rolling Stones room. I would never have expected a rock band to be on the Holland America cruise. I just didn't. I was there every single night for all of their shows. Yes, I was a groupie. All right, cold buckets of water. I just put that in there to make you guys laugh, but the reality is 
I mean, I would never have done this if I wasn't doing it for you guys, but I actually really liked it and ended up going and doing it again. I love to always have like those cold moments for you all. If you haven't seen my um, my video from when I went to Club Med and I had to go into the hot tub in like 38 degrees, that was funny, especially since Kathy didn't have the thing running. So therefore I wasn't able to, <laughs> I had to go do it again. All right. Art made out of tiny cars. Yes, if you if you like expand this, I don't know if I could do it on my computer. Yes, look, those are to tiny toy cars, toy cars that the person painted. All right, so that was pretty cool. All right, um, high T. I love that. I didn't know, it. and then I saw it on the itinerary. I was like, ooh, high T. And then they made me a gluten free, dairy free one. Um, the dancers were a uh, Amazing. I've never seen dancers like this on the cruise line before. They were spectacular. Chocolate, chocolate, and more chocolate. And then have your own call to action. So I say click link in my bio to get on my newsletter list. So that's when I got home, Bodhi, when I got home. But uh, what, what stunning artwork. I don't know what war means, but I, oh, it should have been more. More stunning artwork from my Hal Cruise trip. I love this thing. You walk back and forth. I, I, I could have stood in front of the artwork for hours. I know you guys. I'm, but look, look at all the artwork that is on this cruise. It is really for people who want to experience some culture and come back home and talk about art. Then I did the travel trends that I shared in the departure lounge for you. Okay, here's me showing a video. I believe Kathy's going to be uploading some videos for you. Um, I could upload my videos. Here's me sharing my dinner about last night. I mean, if this stuff doesn't make your mouth water, I do, oh my God, I, I'm salivating just looking at it because I know what it tasted like. Okay. So you get the feet, you see, but every once in a while, I'm sticking the picture of Bodhi in there because like while I was traveling, Bodhi was living his best life. He was at the Bellagio. Look at look at Bodhi at the Bellagio. I mean, come on, dog. And then one day Bodhi went shopping. He was out buying a car. I mean, Bodhi, come on. Then he was looking for a boat, canoe. Then he was out getting camping supplies. Hint, hint, he likes to go camping with me. So he was letting me know. All right, then I actually like eat for you. I Look at, look at my eyes. Like I'm exhausted from all of the running around that I was doing for you guys, but I could not let you miss out on this experience. I mean, you've got to create this lust, the chocolate lust. But here is uh, where you can post, hey, Jessica, remind us how to do whatever it was that I asked you what to do. Um, here is the IntelliTravel Lounge where you're going to go to, you're going to go to more, you're going to media, and you're going to go to albums because I created the Holland America albums. All right, so here's the artwork. You can choose whatever artwork speaks to you and you think would speak to your people. Here's the food. If you want to use a picture of me to show somebody that you know that was, that was eating it and can vouch for it, if you've never been on it, there you go. I mean, y'all, like, you could just do a whole segment on desserts. Here's the entertainment. She's doing her, she did a thing with Whitney. She's from the blues, BB, BB King's blues. So she did something with Whitney, it was incredible. It was like when, what's her name, was doing that with her dad. Oh, I'm forgetting, unforgettable. Yeah, her. Um, then there's the wine tasting. Then there is, what is this? Oh. Then there are, are they have these, um, they have these, all these pictures are from, here's Jamie, he's, he's teaching these experience. So he like talks all about the history of Holland America. He did a surfing one, which I couldn't do because it conflicted with me meeting the executive chef. We learned how to make paper mache. They have a crafts room for people. I did BB Kings. Um, I showed the romantic comedy that we had movie night. Uh, showed the port to table. On deck for a cause where you spend $20 that goes to cancer research and then you get to take a walk with everyone. I showed the band, but look, I showed the people dancing to the band. Are these 20 year old kids? No, they're not. They are grooving because this was the music they grew up on. 
All right, so I shared that with you. Um, here's Jamie uh, doing a talk for us again. He likes to do talks. Here we get into the spa. I shared a lot about the spa because the spa is very luxurious. All right, all right. So you get it, that's where it is. Let me, let me go 